Moving on to the next concept. Now it's time for us to answer the question with which we ended up our previous session. So what's the question? When there are already so many CRMs existing in the market, why is that we are talking about Salesforce? What is that that has made Salesforce world's number one CRM? Right? Because uh, consider PeopleSoft CRM. It emerged into the market in the early 1980s. Siebel CRM, it came into the market in early 1990s. Siebel CRM definitely it is one of the most efficient CRM with many happy customers, many successful projects. Then why is that there is a transition from other CRMs to Salesforce? Why is that people are talking about Salesforce, Salesforce? Because definitely that has brought you to this training, right? So what is there that is a differentiating Salesforce from other CRMs? And the answer is cloud computing. Salesforce is a CRM that is based on cloud computing. It's an on-cloud CRM. So when we say that Salesforce is based on cloud computing, we got to understand the concept of cloud computing, right? What is cloud computing? What does the term cloud computing means? To better explain the concept of cloud computing, let me just give you a small scenario. Say for example, we are starting a company. So uh, what would be one of our priority tasks? Definitely one of our pri priority tasks would be to set up a mail server. Right? Say for example, it's ABC Limited. Uh, so you know, all the employees, the clients, they would have those uh, email IDs like john at abc.com, katie at abc.com, mike at abc.com right so we have our own email IDs so for setting up this mail server what do we do first we set up the server hardware with the CPU the network the power supply and everything once the server hardware is done then the server software maybe Windows NT4 or something which is appropriate once that is done then the Microsoft Exchange server because our target is to set up the mail server so once the whole system is up and running then the mail application is up and running. We'll be able to successfully send, send out emails to everyone. Right? But for some reason, one day, uh, maybe the CPU fails or the OS is corrupted. Or for whatsoever reason, one of the component is down. Then what happens? The whole system is down. Right? So like you got to fix the problem. And only then like you'll be able to make your mail application up and running. Only then you'll be able to send out emails. So for the end objective, the end product, that is a mail application to be up and running, you should always ensure that the hardware and the software dependencies behind that is up and running. If that is done, your application is done. So it has got tight bonding with the hardware and software dependencies. So instead of investing your time, money and effort on your business, you are investing a lot of time and effort on the applications that are that you are using for supporting your business. So definitely it very well clearly tells us that it creates a lot of overheads. So every time like you have to ensure that the hardware and software dependencies behind that is up and running. Right? So here for this problem cloud computing came with a solution. So what is the solution? Separating the application from its hardware and software dependencies. So what does it mean? What does it mean by the term separating the application from its hardware and software dependencies? Say for example, gmail.com. So what happens? When you want to uh, send out an email, you just go to gmail.com, create an account, and then send out emails. As simple as that. Do we ever bother about the hardware and software dependencies behind that, where the server is, where the physical setup is done? We never bother. Right? So the same concept with cloud computing. In fact, Gmail is a very good example of cloud computing. So the application is separated from its hardware and software dependencies. The same way Salesforce CRM works. There is a link and you create an account and then you start using Salesforce CRM. That is all it is. So then like the question comes, who monitors, who maintains the hardware and software dependencies behind that? It is the cloud computing vendors who maintains the hardware and software dependencies. So this is the concept of cloud computing and this is how Salesforce fits into the picture. It was in early 1960s from mainframes to minis and then client server architecture based CRMs. It is during this time Siebel, 
PeopleSoft and other CRMs emerged into the market and now it is enterprise cloud computing and that is where we are with Salesforce CRM. So cloud computing is a concept which is network based computing and the network is internet. So all you need is a laptop with an internet connection for you to work with Salesforce. So it is completely based on internet. So no internet, no cloud computing, so no Salesforce. So it's an on cloud application and definitely it is an on demand application as well. So what does the term on demand means? Means you just pay for what you use. Say for example you are uh, you are investing on any client server architecture based CRM so say Siebel or PeopleSoft or any other CRM or even any other ERP. So once the physical setup is done that is the hardware setup the software setup and you install all the applications once that is all done after three months or six months or after an year you think uh, maybe that is not the right track or it is not really fitting into your business and you want to make a switch is that really possible? Definitely not, right? Because you have invested a lot of money to set it up and now that switching to another product will definitely you'll incur huge financial loss, right? There is no flexibility in that. But Salesforce CRM completely offers that flexibility wherein you just pay for what you use. So that's the reason it's called as on-demand CRM. It's on-cloud CRM, definitely we know it's on-cloud and on-demand CRM. So when we talk about this concept of cloud computing wherein you separate the application from its hardware and software dependencies, we got to understand a little bit more about cloud computing. So what are all the different models of cloud computing? SaaS, PaaS and EaaS. These are the three different models of cloud computing. SaaS, software as a service. PaaS, platform as a service. EaaS, infrastructure as a service. So among these three models, Salesforce falls under the category of SaaS, that is software as a service. So what does this mean? You know, to better understand the concept of SaaS, PaaS and EaaS, let me just give you a small uh, scenario. What happens when you go to a restaurant? You order for food, you eat, you pay and that's all done, right? So the final end product, that is food, is available as a service. You can avail food, you can pay for it and you can avail the end product. So that is SaaS. That is the end product, that is the application, it is available to you as a service. Best example is Salesforce CRM. The end product, that is the application, is available to you as a service. That is software as a service. Coming to PaaS, that is platform as a service. What does it mean? It means the final product, that is food, that is not available. Instead, they give you access to the kitchen. You got to cook your own food, eat, and then pay for it means the final product that is the application is not available as a service instead they give you the platform for building up the application so you got to build your own application and use it that is called as pass that is platform as a service and the best example for pass is force.com and we'll be talking about salesforce as well as force.com in fact we'll be creating our own custom applications using force.com platform and the third one that is the infrastructure as a service it is you don't even have access to the kitchen instead you just have a space you got to set up the kitchen and then cook food and then eat means they just give you the rack space you got to set up the platform and then build the applications and then use it that is called as EaaS, infrastructure as a service so these are the three different models of cloud computing and salesforce falls under the category of SaaS and force.com falls under the category of PaaS, that is platform as a service. And on cloud versus on premise. What is on premise? On premise means the physical setup is there in the location, in the premises. Definitely in many of your work location, you would have seen uh, physical boxes of service with a restricted access, right? So that is called as on premise applications. Wherein the physical setup, the physical hardware setup is present in the location. This is on cloud. Best example Salesforce. It's an on cloud application. It is based off cloud computing. So definitely we have lot many advantages of having an on cloud CRM. There is no upfront license fee, no hardware infrastructure definitely, no ongoing maintenance fees. 
So these are some of the very big advantages of on cloud CRM. And why cloud computing? Definitely by now like we know like why is that we are going for cloud computing? Because there are automatic upgrades, it is completely secure, integrated and very easy to use. And definitely half the cost because like you are sharing the resources. Because of the concept of multi-tenant architecture, you are sharing the resources, so definitely half the cost. These applications, these on-cloud applications, these are all automatically upgraded. So what does it mean by the term automatically upgraded? Say for example, uh, consider Gmail. Uh, whenever a Gmail goes for upgrade, let me give you a small instance. Uh, some months back, uh, Gmail went for an upgrade wherein all our emails are now segregated into three different categories, right? Social, promotions and primary. So did Gmail go for a downtime? Did they uh, send out a communication saying that the Gmail will not be available for 24 hours or 48 hours, something like that? No. One fine day we just logged into Gmail, we could see all our emails segregated into three different categories. So when is that they did the upgrade? Right? So that is the concept of automatically upgraded. The applications are upgraded with zero downtime. We never go for any downtime whenever we do some releases. So that is the meaning of automatically upgraded and that is one of the biggest strength of on-cloud applications. With many vendors, with many cloud computing vendors, cloud momentum is really accelerating. And Salesforce is a CRM that is based on cloud computing and that is the biggest strength of Salesforce CRM. And that is why Salesforce CRM is standing away from the crowd and that is why we are talking about Salesforce Salesforce which has really made it the world's number one CRM. With a lot of flexibility, lot many successful projects and people switching from other CRM to Salesforce CRM, this is the main reason. Because Salesforce is based on cloud computing. It's on cloud CRM. So now that like we are clear about the concept of Salesforce, which is a CRM, we know what is a CRM. In the previous lectures, we understood what's a CRM, what's a ERP, what are their similarities, what are their dissimilarities, and why is that we are talking about Salesforce? Because Salesforce is based on cloud computing, and what is cloud computing? We are clear with these concepts. So any queries, you can always post it on the discussion board. Going forward, we'll understand, uh, we'll just jump into Salesforce, from Salesforce perspective, we'll understand the concepts and there is a lot more to learn.